Welcome to Positive News with me, Al Haji Irubad Ibrahim. In our headlines today, Ghana ranked seventh most charitable country in Africa. Real estate attracts investors to Ghana and Nigeria. Young Ghanaian entrepreneur sweeps for awards in the United States. Ghana and Cape Verde strengthen bilateral ties. And on the international front, the Council of Islamic Ideologies has validated around a hundred fatwas. And then, La ilaha illallah, a breathtaking exhibition bringing artwork out of its shadows. Now, details of the news items. Ghana ranked seventh most charitable country in Africa. Ghana has been ranked the seventh most charitable country in Africa and 38th in the world, according to the Charities Aid Foundation World Giving Index. In the world's largest survey of charitable elevators from across the globe over the last 10 years, Ghana placed 38. The most charitable country on the African continent was Kenya, which was ranked 11th the world over, followed by Liberia, which was ranked 17th, Sierra Leone, 20th, Nigeria, 22nd, Zambia, 32nd, Uganda, 35th, and Malawi, 36th. Real estate attracts investors to Nigerian and Ghanaian markets. As Nigeria and Ghana's economies continue to diversify, the country's property sectors are once again attractive to regional and international real estate investors, says Kifri Rassan, the managing director of API Events, the host of the fifth West Africa Property Investment Summit. According to him, these markets have progressed and evolved amid tough trading conditions, adding that this year alone, uncovering the next real estate investment code was developed with buy-in from local and international stakeholders who believe that West African real estate is now increasingly attractive to direct foreign investment, private equity firms, institutional and global investors. To our next story, young Ghanaian entrepreneur sweeps four awards in the United States. A young and burden entrepreneur, David Mawena Mafo, is an independent rep in Ghana and has won four Avon President's Awards in the United States. His personal and team sales have earned him four awards in the Avon Presidential Recognition Program for the previous year, 2018, and the review. Avon is a renowned company in beauty, household, and personal care categories. With their independent representatives scattered across the globe, the company proves to be one of the largest beauty companies in the world. The annual awards program was held at the luxurious Western Maui Resort in Maori Resort and Spu. To our fourth story, Ghana and Cape Verde strengthen bilateral ties. Ghana has rolled out modalities to strengthen bilateral relations with Cape Verde. Mrs. Gloria Poku, Ghana's ambassador to Senegal, who also has additional responsibilities over the Gambia and Cape Verde, has said. Mrs. Poku told the Ghana News Agency later in an interview in Dakar, Senegal, in Dakar, Senegal, presenting her letters of credence to President George Carlos Fonsex of Cape, Cape Verde at the presidential palace in Prayer. She reiterated President Nana Dudanko Akufuado's commitment for the two countries to begin the process of developing stronger ties as well as exploring areas of cooperation to the mutual benefits of their citizens. 
She said, presenting the letters of credence would, would deepen cooperation between the two countries as they explored in the areas of fisheries and tourism for which Cape Verde is noted through the sharing of expertise and best practices. On the international front, the Council of Islamic Ideology has validated around a hundred fatwas, also known as religious edicts, in support of polio vaccination, sparking hopes that religion-based resistance against vaccinations will decrease. According to a Council of Islamic ideology document available to the Dawn newspaper in Pakistan, the council's apex body unanimously decided polio cases unanimously decided to ratify fatwas by ulema in support of polio vaccination. The document said the Council of Islamic ideology was concerned that Pakistan was facing travel restrictions due to polio cases and could face further financial problems in the future as such restrictions could be increased. Buhar bin Atta, the Prime Minister's focal person on polio, told the Dawn newspaper that this was the first time the government tried to seek the Council of Islamic Ideology's help in controlling the polio virus. And finally, La ilaha illallah, or no God but Allah, a breathtaking exhibition bringing Islamic art out of the shadows. Art is universal. It is a great educator and a bridge between cultures, religion, and time. Now more than ever, it is vitally important for Australian collecting institutions to embrace the art and culture of the Islamic world to encourage understanding and respect within our own country. It was said in Australia. Nearly 15 years down the line, following a string of mostly modest exhibitions towards this aim, AXA presents its most expansive and ambitious exhibition of Islamic arts yet. No God but God or La ilaha illallah which is the art of Islam. Usually, objects from Access Islamic art collection are displayed in a single small hall nestled between European and Asian art and rotated relatively infrequently, so only a few highlights are ever seen. No God but God or La ilaha illallah curator, James Bennett, has taken over adjacent halls in a magnificently broad exploration of objects produced from one side of the Islamic world to the other and spanning over a thousand years. Thank you so much for making time with us. Till we come your way uh, next time with another edition of Positive News. I am your brother, everybody, Brian. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.